God is a miracle worker. God is a glorious God. God is, God is a miracle worker. Miracle worker. My God is, God is, He is a glorious God. A glorious. Two more times. God is, he is a miracle worker. A miracle worker. My God is, he is a glory of God. One more time. God is, God is, he is a miracle worker. My God is, he is a glory of Please lift your voice in one minute and begin to talk to the Lord. That which you desire to see happen in your life now, the time has come. Lift your voice and pray. You are trusting God for that sickness to leave you. Go ahead and talk to Him. You are trusting God for restoration. Go ahead and talk to Him. You are trusting God for rest round about. Go ahead and pray. You are trusting God for speed to break the yoke of delay. Are you praying? Lord, you brought me here to change my story. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, listen to me. It is true that there are spirits behind the many, many, many tragedies of God's people. And one of the assignments of the anointing is to bring a separation between you and that demonic influence that would not let you go. He says, say unto God, how terrible art thou in your ways. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. There are spirits behind the career failures of people. There are spirits behind sicknesses and infirmities that will not let people go free. Are you ready now? I want to pray for you. Please, whether you are an usher or not, I want you to help them, especially for those under the anointing. When I pray for you, then we'll minister to the sick. And we'll see how God will help us. It will be a very, very quick walk that we're doing. Let your heart be open. Don't be a spectator. At the count of three, we're going to shout the name Jesus. There is a reason why we shout that name. It's not a ritual. We shout it, number one, because God instructed it. Number two, we shout it because we want the nations to know that every miracle and every manifestation of the power of God comes by that one Jesus. Who is Lord and Christ listen at the third shout the power of God to deliver will fall like rain upon individuals whether you are the balcony whether you are the back inside outside wherever you are we're going to shout that name three times this is what God is telling me so we we'll shout once we we'll shout the second time and by the third time, every orchestration, every legal access. Some of you may not even know that behind the many problems is one spirit. You don't have to deal with the issues one by one. When that one spirit goes, you will find out that the same spirit causing problems in your marriage is the same one causing problems every other place. It's like an octopus. Many hands, but the same spirit. Are you ready now? One, shout Jesus. Jesus. The name that is above every other name. The name that is above cancer, failure. The name that is above retrogression and shame and pain. Are you ready to shout the second? Shout Jesus.
Now I'd like you to be sensitive. There is an anointing on this shout. Paratalikata. This is the name that lifts. For some of you, you are shouting your way to a new level. Some of you, you are shouting your way to victory. Listen, as you shout, the power of God is going to rest right now upon people. Please bring them out very quickly. I announce to every devil, I announce to every principality, every spirit that is not of the Christ, manipulating the destinies of man, not allowing God's people to experience liberty. This shout is Tehillah, is the shout that brings down the wall of Jericho. Are you ready now? Shout Jesus. Jesus. Now I decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ, every spirit, bring them out. I cause every devil, every wicked spirit, go now in the name of Jesus. Go now, spirits of ancestry, yokes of darkness, tying down the destinies of men. Release them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Bring them out. We're praying, my God. Evil and wicked dreams. Seeing yourself in secondary school, primary school, writing exams that never finish, orchestrations of witchcraft, everything that represents shame. Let that fire come upon you now. Shame and reproach is a spirit shame and reproach i call you by your name and i curse you by the god of heaven shame and reproach bring them out hallelujah listen to me there are people carrying an embargo upon their face of disfavor this thing they call bad luck the moment people see you even if they vow to help you it's like there is it's like there is, there is something that is not really you right now the power of god is tearing away everything that makes people to not want to help you i decree and declare upon i'm seeing nine the number nine there are nine people that embargo is about to leave you right now at the count of three one two three let them go now i cause every demon i cause every spirit every spirit of darkness in the name of jesus christ bring them out covering your glory covering the greatness that God has put within your spirit now I want to arrest the spirit of delay the spirit that makes you see your blessing and yet never hold it close to you and yet never hold it I tell you I'm seeing fire coming on so many people right now in the name of Jesus that spirit of delay I call you by name and I decree and declare at the count of three release God's people right now one two three be released now be released now for you and for your family be released now let that sword of judgment bring a separation between you and every spirit of delay someone prophesy I'm moving forward I'm making advancement go ahead and prophesy prophesy over your destiny no more retrogression no more retrogression I move forward I make progress by the power of the Holy Ghost hallelujah hallelujah the lord is opening my eyes in the realm of the spirit i'm seeing a padlock on a door this is what i'm seeing and this is a prophetic representation of somebody's destiny you are wondering why everything in your life is failing 
why it's okay some things succeed and some things don't succeed at least it, it gives you a consolation but there are people here everything literally is at a standstill i'm seeing that padlock in the spirit as i'm prophesying the hand of god is coming upon them now i decree and declare everything that has locked and capacity locked and caged your destiny inside and outside everywhere in the name of jesus i declare let it be open now let it be open now destiny hear the word of the lord be open now be open now hallelujah we may not have the time to prophesy but i'm seeing someone i don't know if it's a demotion that happened to you in your place of work this thing surprised you they called you and it's like you were relieved of the current position and you were demoted to somewhere lower who is that person i want to speak to you now your season of breakthrough has come if that person is here quickly just identify so that I pray with you and cause that demonic spirit. In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. Where do you work, madam? In the name of Jesus Christ the Bible says the path of the just is as a shining light and that it shines ever brighter in the every spirit that will not want you to move forward but that you are up today and down tomorrow I'm using them as a point of contact to prophesy to someone you should never have a better yesterday where you look at your yesterday and rejoice and keep wishing in the name of Jesus for those in front here every power that will not let you rise consistently I curse it now in the name of Jesus I curse it Aparus I curse it now in the name of Jesus that it is from glory to glory hear me there is a pastor you are watching me your concern right now is that there is a strange decline in membership it's not like you did anything wrong or whatever it is but in a strange way you are watching me right now you are in a room you are watching me using your phone and you are wondering it, it ought not to be so you, you are a sincere person this is a demonic thing and a plot against your ministry I want to pray for you the lord is giving me that instruction you are a man of god father by the mercy of the god of heaven i pray over this your servant in the name that is above all names every time you call a man and you raise that man you send to him the men and the women who will receive from the grace that you have given him for this dear one who is in pain because of a decline and frustration in ministry I decree and declare from tonight let there be a miraculous turnaround in the name of Jesus Christ for those of you who are in front here I pray for you and I prophesy you have come by this prophecy whatever represents a demotion a going down I curse it now by the God of heaven and I declare may your life begin to change you will go upwards you will go forward only in the name of jesus the son of the living god in the name of jesus the son of the living god go and prosper in jesus name now very quickly let me pray for the sick i'm sensing a very strong healing anointing now outside now is the time to lay hands on them every part of your body that is a challenge health wise please lay your hands on it if you can if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest i want to pray for you
in the glory and the power I see miracles signs and wonders in the glory and the power I see miracles here's what I want you to do I'm going to pray for you right now by the power of the Holy Spirit you came with someone's picture you came with anything as a point of contact I want you to agree with them I know some of them are following right now wherever you are in truth there is no barrier in the realm of the spirit I'm going to pray for you pray in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ we decree and we declare by the power of the Holy Spirit are you declaring I'm agreeing with you now believe God for a miracle believe God for a manifestation of the things that he has spoken hallelujah hallelujah listen you have to believe that there is a God in heaven who answers prayers you have to believe this this is not just some religiosity no 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 we've been doing this for many many years and you cannot imagine the testimonies that have come out in my opinion this is the most accurate representation of your desires the Bible says, what things soever ye desire, it says, when ye pray, that you believe that you have received it and you shall have it. This is what the Bible says. What things soever ye desire. Hallelujah. We're people of prayer and we're people who have been marvelously helped by God. I want you to believe in every prophetic declaration. I pray over these requests and in the name of Jesus, for every request here by the power that raised christ from the dead you will see it manifest speedily in your life yeah. 
everything you have written here as a representation of your faith and your expectation i release my faith with you and i pray the same hand that submitted the request let it be the same hand that receives the answers i say it again the same hand that submitted the request may this be the same hand that receives the answers every spirit that is back off any negative condition here represented by the power that raised christ from the dead i decree and declare that those spirits give way now you hear me by the spirit of god every destiny helper who needs to partner with the holy spirit to see that these requests are answered in the name of jesus we engage their ministry for your sake in the mighty name of jesus and as i always do i stand upon these requests the same way i'm standing upon it everything that has risen above you in the name of jesus christ it comes under the feet of jesus whatever has represented shame and re and reproach over your life i'm prophesying to you right now that which was once an issue of shame may god turn it for a testimony in the name of jesus christ the final prophetic word the Lord has been revealing to me very very superior understandings about the administration of the prophetic and I believe that he's allowing this for the sake of his people and then because of the times that we live in by next week we'll continue with our series and then there, there, are, there are a few teachings that God is going to be helping us to see opening our eyes to really understand the realm of the spirit and to understand how things work in this kingdom hallelujah I want to speak over your life within the one or two minutes that I have and I want you to believe it let it be from the depth of your heart I wish I had the opportunity and the privilege to lay hands on everyone inside and outside. There are several thousands of people here on ground and thousands, potentially millions more across the globe. And it's impossible to do that. But there is one spirit who is able to transcend time and distance. And that right where you are, through words, the power of God can come as prophecy and remain on you and insist that your life becomes a capture of everything that was spoken he said blessed is she that believes for unto her there shall be a performance of those things that were spoken i want to pray for you do not commonize the prophetic it is powerful be lifted in the name of jesus be lifted in the name of jesus be lifted in the name of Jesus from where you are to where you need to be be lifted in the name of Jesus you know I've been talking a lot through this service about shame and reproach let me pray it officially now in the name of Jesus every embargo over your destiny that spells shame that spells reproach by the power that raised christ from the dead i erase that from your life in the name of jesus christ the grace for structural establishment that means the grace that gives you your own space whether land whether a play a structure so that you stop depending on on people unnecessarily i pray for you it's a real hope the lord has given me my own space i prophesy to you you have the faith to receive it i decree an aparus whatever belongs to you 
that makes for establishment in this city and in this nation i call upon the god of portions to give you your own portion in the name of jesus christ i prophesy to you that this is the season you will strangely step into prepared blessings prepared blessings prepared blessings prepared blessings listen hear me there are times god gives you the wisdom to plant and then he becomes the life force that helps your crops to grow but there are times that the situation in your life needs bread from heaven directly whether it is for your crop to grow or for bread to come it is still god that makes it happen therefore i declare both for your crops and for bread that attends to your needs of emergency may god respond to you speedily anyone in your family and anyone around you who is yet to encounter jesus may this month february we are stepping into in the name of jesus we activate the ministry of angels to bring them to the cross we activate the ministry of angels to bring them to jesus in the name of jesus christ let me pray for your spiritual life the real heritage of the believer in christ is the knowledge of god and the ability to access the wisdom that comes through that relationship it says let not the wise man glory in his wisdom let not the strong man in his strength the rich man in his riches but let him that glory glory in this that he understandeth and he knoweth me i pray for you the encounters that will lead to deeper levels of intimacy with the holy spirit receive it now in the name of jesus the grace that gives you a higher level of spiritual understanding in this year of marvelous light receive it it is yours now hear me every lukewarmness in your prayer life that has brought your prayer life down and you have neglected your priesthood i pray for you in the name that is above all names I decree the grace that fans your prayer life back to flames receive it in Jesus name and let me pray for you regardless what is happening as far as the times we're living in is concerned in the name of Jesus Christ the grace that separated Goshen from what was happening in Egypt may that same grace separate you from everything that makes for pain separate you from everything that makes for sorrow separate you from everything that makes for shame separate you from everything that makes for decrease when men say there is a casting down for you i prophesy there will be a lifting up career people i pray for you the month coming i call it your month of strange breakthroughs in the name of jesus christ I declare finally upon you the mantle that makes for visibility and influence the grace that can cause your territory to see you and place a demand upon what God has put whether in business whether in ministry in the name of Jesus Christ listen I know what I'm saying believe me I pray for you by the power that raised Christ from the dead may that grace rest upon you now in the name of jesus christ the spirit of wisdom that takes away foolishness completely both in deeds in thoughts and in words may that grace rest upon you and i pray for you finally as god has done it in your life through you may he do it to your family through you may he do it to your circle of influence in the name of jesus for those of you who have traveled from far and have come here i pray for you you are not only going back with joy you are going back with strange evidences in the name of jesus the same way the madman 
in Gadara was waiting for Jesus this time around may good things wait for you at the corridors of your destiny in Jesus name I pray wave your hands and give Jesus praise thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus can you tell him thank you in one minute thank you Jesus it is always with Thanksgiving the last digit in this equation is Thanksgiving thank you we bless you and we honor you you have done all things well in Jesus name I pray